Morning from Clarence. Today is Monday, February the seventeenth, twenty twenty. My last video, I reconnected power going to the light to the switch, adding a receptacle. Now, the receptacle is always hot. The switch controls the light. The power comes into the light first. Now, one of my fellow subscribers said, "I noticed in your video that you got three ways, three way wire coming into your switch." You can eliminate that whole connection here to a receptacle by using the black, marring the black, putting power to the switch, and then using that white that you marred inside the switch, and then running your power to your receptacle. So that's a clever idea. I didn't even notice that. So I thank my subscriber. He wants to be anonymous, so he'll stay anonymous. Anyway, thank him for letting me know about this, and we're going to Take it apart today. We're going to show you how it originally worked. Take it apart today and do it his method and see if we get power there. So I'm going to plug it in, show you again. So we've got power to the outlet. The switch is off. The light is off. The switch is on. The light is on. Still have power to the receptacle. So now we're going to eliminate some wires here this complete circuit and it could have went all the way to the thing didn't have to go into the switch here eliminate that complete circuit less wires less confusion so we'll start what we want to do we can still leave the white jumper to the silver screw the red wire connected to the gold screw we're not touching that we're just going to remove this 14 2 wire completely so we'll have to unmar it here unmar it here to remove the uh, uh, the uh, ground wire. So we'll unmar it, and then we'll remar it without those 14 2 wires here. Let's take this apart. This apart. And uh, we're going to use uh, not my Wago ones back, my 14 3, three wire connector. Or the 5 one, the 5 wire connector too. I like the Wago ones so much. So we'll take this apart, the white wire, remove the black wire from this here, and the ground wire as well. So the Wago one, just to remove the, the ground wire from here. I'm going to add an outlet to your switch. From your power source and the power source comes into your light first so power you get 14 2 coming in here your black is marred with a 3 14 3 wire the power comes in you have a mar here and then you're going to give power to your switch go through the switch to the red wire comes back to the gold screw on the light gives the power the other power coming from the mar gives power your outlet your white wire comes in it's marred it's jumpered to the silver side of the light comes through here marred inside the switch goes and completes a circuit on the receptacle so you got power to the receptacle hot all the time the switch does not interfere with the receptacle and that's how you wire it up we use our big old Lever nut, this is the three conductor, three, uh, three conductor big hole. Lever nut, connect all three whites together, and I'll show you after where they all go. The strand of wire is a little harder to get in the Wago nut, it still goes. And to connect the two blocks using our Wago two conductor. So we got all the whites connected. So we're coming from the three wire here. You see it has it get a black, red, and white. The whites are all connected. Go to the silver screw. The red coming from the switch goes to the brass screw. The blacks are connected and we'll connect the grounds here. So you'll connect the grounds here. I got a ground screw connected from the wire here, connected to this. This is 
I could have connected right to the box, but it's easier just put a connector in here. So we get the grounds connected to the box, grounded from the cab tire, and we've got the weights connected going to the silver screw. The red wire comes back on the gold screw, the blacks are connected. Now we'll do the rest. Originally, we'll go over it again here. So this is the power coming in. To the reset to the junction box to the light first. Light goes from the, the light to the switch, and we're going to get power to the receptacle here. So coming in, we have a box marred, and the black goes. You just go to the switch. Now my subscriber is saying, remove this screw. Mar the blacks coming from. This is coming from the receptacle. The black and the white here. Mar the blacks for the jumper wire to the switch. So now you got power going to the switch, goes through the red wire back to the to light the switch to the gold color, and then the black and the whites are connected, giving power to the receptacle. So we'll do that now. We'll hook up the the whites coming from the receptacle to the wiggle here, and I'm going to remove this black and connect the three blacks and then jumper back to the screw. So we got two wires coming in, 14-2 coming into the light first. So the light has the power first, goes to the switch. Now you need three wires between the light and the switch. So the power goes to the switch and returns and turns on the light from the switch. So the, the whites are all connected and then one of the whites jumpered to the silver screw. Blacks are all connected and we'll connect the blacks here so we can give power to the switch give power to the red wire to bring it back to complete the circuit and then give power to the outlet to complete the circuit. So it gives this little jumper wire here. And we want to turn it the same way as the screw turns so it tightens it. Now we've got our Wago connector connect all three black wires together so we completed the circuit now we get all the blacks connected get power going to the outlet power going to the switch turn the switch on you get the power going to your light the last thing is connect the ground wire this is a net ground it's connected to the, the box, electrical box, and we've looped it around here. We just tighten the ground on the switch here. We've got power coming from the switch. Black is on the gold side, and the white is on the silver side, and you've got it grounded to the receptacle and to the box. These are the Vigo, the Vigo 221s, the 3 and the 2 conductor, and they come in two different, this is the, the 3 one, 221, 3, and this is the 2 conductor, 221, 412, and I ordered the 5 conductor. So we get it all hooked up here, and uh, use our Milwaukee 6 and one pliers today, I'm going to put the power on. Let's see if this thing works. We got power to the, to the receptacle, the outlet here. The light's not on. It's controlled by the switch. Turn the switch on. The light is on. And the receptacle is still on. So it's not always hot. And the switch controls the light. So again, we use three wires coming into the, the light. Power goes in the light first. We use three wires going into the switch. We jumpered those wires, a bit of black and white going to the receptacle. The red returns to the gold screw on the light, completes the circuit. 
I'd like to thank uh, my subscriber who mentioned to me about how to acquire this property. He wants to remain anonymous. Anyway, thanks again. I'd like to thank all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. If you watched this first time today, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video today. Have a great day.